Hey, everybody. Oh, thanks for sticking with me. You know, tech issues. I'm telling you, I had my husband on FaceTime. I had Brenda over there. Um, microphones weren't working. Camera said, you know what? You need to repower down your phone. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy to be with you. Listen, I got Brenda on with me right now because of all my tech issues. So I want to make sure we're good, Bren. Are we good? We Can you hear me? All right, I'm getting a thumbs up from her. Awesome, that is great. Well, uh, I'm very excited to be with you guys today. We are gonna do a fantastic double Z gatefold card. Boy, how about that? We're loving the fun folds, right? And uh, this is a really unique one. It's just kind of a different uh, look for a card. It's also very mantle worthy and we love that, don't we? Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move over to my stamping table so that we can get started. And, you know, I always just hope and pray that everything's working right. <laughs> so, as always, I've got a free download for you for the Double Z Gatefold. And you're going to have all the measurements, my supplies. You can click right here. Uh, you'll be able to go back and watch the video if you're not sure where to adhere things down. And uh, we'll have that for you. And, um, yeah, I think these are awesome. You guys seem to really be enjoying them. And I love sharing them. But let me show you what a Double Z Gatefold card is. So, Here's what our card does. Can you see? It's really just a fun, unique card. And that's why I say it's mantle worthy, right? That's pretty cool. So this is actually the card we're going to create. Stick around. I've got another version of it. But let me share the supplies you're going to need. Um, first, let's start with some basic white card stock. Um, so this piece here is a five and a quarter by 11 inches. Let me go ahead and give you those scoring measurements now since we're here. So five and a quarter by 11, very different um, size. We're going to score at one and three quarters and three and a half. Rotate it around, score that again, one and three quarters by three and a half. There are times I just find it easier to score uh, on each end. Um, it kind of ensures I get things um, perfectly centered. So that's what our card's going to look like. I've got another piece of basic white. Uh, this one here is a three and a quarter by four and a quarter. That's going to be uh, the focal image on the front. Um, underneath that, we're going to put a piece of sweet sorbet, just a little bit bigger uh, for that one, three and a half by four and a half. And then I've got a few pieces of Starry Sky, um, such a different color combination I've got going today. Uh, these two pieces, these are easy, four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's basically half a sheet of cardstock that I cut in half. And then I've got one more little strip here, one and a half by five inches. The last thing we're gonna need is some designer series paper. Now this is the Tea Boutique. I had to use one six by six to get these pieces. But this piece here is a four by five and a quarter. This piece is going to go right here and it's one and a quarter by four and three quarters. All right. We are going to start to create now. I'm going to use my cup of tea um, stamp set today. I've loved this one. I don't know. Maybe it's because I just got over COVID myself and got so many wonderful get well cards from you that I decided to create uh, a really fun little get well card. Um, with the cup of tea. Real quick, I do want to show you our ink pads for today. We've got a little Blushing Bride, Garden Green, Starry Sky, and Sweet Sorbet. Um, I'm actually going to start, I think, here with my uh, Blushing Bride, and I'm going to go ahead and get my Stampin' Mat underneath me. Uh, I just, when I use photo, photopolymer stamps, and you guys know, sometimes I bring it in and sometimes I don't, really, it just comes down to, Connie forgot. Um, I'm going to ink up that teacup, and I'm going to put that right down here at the bottom. Again, that one's in Blushing Bride. And now, let me close that one up. I'm going to come in with some Garden Green. And we've got a wonderful, uh, you know what, I have you guys have seen me use this set quite a bit because I love creating with this image right here. So we're going to make it kind of pop right out of the cup. And you can see with the photopolymer, very easy to line that up. Um, and I'll set, no, 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 I won't set that one off to the side. We're going to do some stamping on the inside. But if you guys are okay with it, I think we'll do that. 
um, after I finish my focal image here. So now we have, look at this little stamp. All of those flowers get to be stamped at one time. We love that. So I'm going to come in, try to get that lined up right there. So we've got some great uh, sweet sorbet flowers. And now, oh, ink pads everywhere. You guys know if I have ink pads out, I'm going to end up with my card in it or my hand in it. Um, now we're going to say on the front of our card, let's say take care of yourself because that's what we want to do when our friends have COVID, right? We want to say, take care of yourself. All right, so that is the piece that we're going to attach here to our sweet sorbet. Now I want to go ahead and stamp on the inside of my card, all right? So for this one, um, we are going to say, and all of the stamps I'm using are from the Cup of Tea stamp set. So this is what I decided to do here on the inside. I'm going to say, let's get together soon. Um, I had a chance to get together with my uh, team manager, Leslie, yesterday, or not yesterday, it was day before. We had such a good time. You know, COVID has kept us all apart. It was wonderful to see her. So this would have been um, a great card for her. You see, I just kind of put my little flowers there. Um, and then this is where I said this stamp is so awesome. I'm going to stamp it down here at the bottom of my card. And now let's do one more bit of those flowers. Of course, this one might be optional for you. If you uh, want to write more, you might want to skip that. All right, so that's the inside of our card. And now, oh my, you know what? Sometimes I do these lives and I go, okay, this card's going to go together way too fast. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys don't mind. Hopefully um, you are creating right along with me. Laura says, I'm beginning to think I need this stamp set. I got to tell you, I use this, Laura, I use this by itself all the time. And of course, can we talk about these fonts? I mean, really? They are amazing. Very fun. Let's go ahead and get this attached here to that sweet sorbet. And then I'm going to show you how fun and easy it is to put this Z fold card together. I mean, it's just, it's so very simple. I'm going to use my phone folder and get that score or crease down really good. All right. Uh, remember those two pieces? I've got stuff all over my desk. Let me bring in these. So I'm going to start with one of my Starry Sky. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put adhesive on the back. This is that center part. I'm going to bring my card down. Center that up. All right. I hope you guys are following me. Good, good. Uh, and now we can take our other piece of Starry Sky, and this is important. Don't glue them both down or we have a problem. We are only going to put adhesive on this panel, okay, on the left-hand side. So we'll put some adhesive here. And now for this one, I really want to get that lined up right with the Starry Sky that's on the bottom. I don't want to press it down yet. Let me make sure I'm kind of good and centered. I am. So now I can give that a press. Do you see? Very awesome card. Okay. Uh, we're going to take that other piece of Starry Sky, and that's just going to give us a nice little accent right here. So let's add some adhesive. Julia's here. She says, hello. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I hope you guys are crafting uh, with me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jonna says, I use a stamp set a lot and I include a tea bag. You know, I, uh, real, I'm 100% behind you on that. Um, I think that is an awesome way to use this. And you know, I'm going to look at something real quick after I get this adhered, Julia. I wonder if we could put, um, one of our three by three envelopes right there. We could put that in. And that tea bag could be inside. What do you think? Well, now I gotta go totally redo the card. But yeah, wouldn't that be cute right here? Oh, wait a minute. Would that work? No, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't because it's folds. How could you do that? I'm trying to think. 
because yeah, this folds out. All right. Well, my idea didn't work, but you know what? We tried, didn't we? <laughs> but it still is very true that this stamp set lends itself perfectly to a tea bag. All right. We're going to add that four by five and a quarter here to the front. I thought this was perfect. There's where I got my idea for the blushing bride. We'll add our take care of yourself to the front of the card. Uh, Lori says maybe uh, tie the tea bag up with a bow. Um, you're right. I wonder if we could attach it somehow. See, you guys have me thinking. I wonder if it would fit right here on this panel. It just can't go over on that white panel again because we're, I mean, you could, but then it's only going to, you know, you're going to have to adhere it down. So um, I think, I just don't know if a tea bag will fit on that panel. Man, you know what? We're going to find a way, aren't we? <laughs> All right. I want to add one more thing to um, my card, and that is some of the Blushing Bride Poly Ribbon. You know what? Brenda was here visiting me uh, last last week. Brenda, I can't even think. It's just time is, is a flutter. Um, and I had this ribbon out, and she picks it up, and she goes, oh, I don't think I realized how nice and soft that ribbon is. It, it's kind of... Yeah, it's just really soft, right, Bren? It was great. It's also a really nice thick ribbon. Um, tying it in bows isn't necessarily my favorite because it is thick, but boy, ribbon knots are the bee's knees, right? And you know what? It uses less that way, but it still gives a great look. I'm going to press that onto a mini glue dot and add that up here at the top and boom. I've got a fantastic card. Now, on these flowers, if you wanted to add maybe some rhinestones, you want to add a little bling, please feel free to do that. But what great colors. So bright. I loved that starry sky. Uh, with Even though there's some starry sky here, but boy, with that sweet sorbet, it just, it just pals. So that is how you're going to create a double Z fold, a uh, gate fold card. That's a mouthful. Let me show you another card that I created. And this one I thought was so sweet. This I used the Full of Love stamp set. Did a little work with my Stampin' Blend. You know what? I think I may have even put some uh, Wink Estella in there. And look at my ribbon technique I did here. So uh, I had a piece of the ribbon and I tied a knot in the center. And then I just adhered it on the back of my basic white. So it just it kind of filled in. I needed something to kind of fill in. So instead of adding a bow here, which I could have done that and just put my bow in between, I thought that little technique was so sweet. Uh, loved this image. And I think you can see we also have um, some of the festive pearls in there. I think that looks so nice. Let me show you the inside. Oh, I got to tell you about this paper. This is, um, <laughs> I got to remember, Splendid Day. There we go, Splendid Day. And um, look at what we did here on the inside. You guys may have picked up the Splendid Day because it was on sale last week. Just added another flower, sending love your way. Uh, this I did on mint macaron. Um, I just thought it was gorgeous. And that's soft succulent ribbon, by the way. Colored in, my Stampin' Blends were Highland Heather uh, and a little bit of Flirty Flamingo. And then also some um, Mint Macaron for my leaves. But I thought that one was just gorgeous. And again, mantle worthy. We love that. So there are your very easy peasy cards. Remember um, that uh, download is there for you. Want you guys to have that. If you ever need to come back and watch the video again, you can click. Oh, right here. If you click here, you'll see my full supply list and you can order. So for those of you that were saying, I've really got to get my hands on that stamp set, <laughs> you can order that. You can also find the full of love as well, but I'll have a complete supply list for both cards for you. So I want to share with you the cards we're going to create next week. I'm really excited about these. So we are going to be creating um, these really fun uh, designer series paper cards. And what I love about this one is we're going to use one sheet of designer series paper and make eight cards. And then I'm going to take this panel here and that's where I'm going to get my sentiments. So it's one doesn't use a lot of cardstock, 
it's a really quick and simple card. And you know what? I got to think of before I pulled these out for you guys today, I think I might even try creating my own designer series paper because, you know, you only get one of these or two of these sheets and two of these sheets. What if you want more? Well, how about we create some designer series paper to go along uh, with the cards that we're going to create next week. That'll be September 15th here on my channel. All right, guys. So back here to just say thank you um, for hanging around for those few extra minutes while I yelled and cursed at my phone for not wanting to cooperate today. Uh, maybe it's the heat. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys, everyone. Thank you for being here. If you like the video, I would love a thumbs up on YouTube. If you have not subscribed, click that great big red subscribe button so that YouTube can let you know whenever I'm back with a live video or one of my Tuesday tip master classes. We got great things happening here on our channel. We'd love to have you. Remember to go get that free download over at simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the, what is today, the September, I don't know what the date is. I have eighth. I believe it's the 8th. <laughs> You'll find that on my September 8th, 2022 post, and you can grab your free download. That's all for me, everybody. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.